Hi, I'm Caitlin. This is Cecilia. Welcome to Metro Beauty Academy and today we will be showing you how to make a thin lip look fuller. Welcome back. We're going to get started with making our thin lip a little bit fuller. So first we're going to start with lip liner. I like to choose a neutral tone of lip liner as long as you're not doing a really bold lip color. You're going to go with a neutral tone that matches the lip color. Okay, so we're just going to outline ever so slightly above the lip line. If you notice, lips are dimensional, so you can't go outside of those dimensions. Once you start getting outside of the lifted part of the lip, um, you're going to create a very strange lip. It's not going to look natural at all. People will definitely be able to tell that you did something. So you want to keep it within those dimensions. And if you noticed, I did also lift at the corner here. She does have a slight droop right there. So I just came over, did a little line, marked my spot, and then lifted. So we're just lifting slightly. I'm not applying a lot of pressure with the pencil. I think a lot of people um, apply tons of pressure with the lip pencils, and then you end up with a very, very hard line, uh, and that makes it very obvious that you've done lip liner. So you want to apply a light amount of pressure and just feather that right in. And now I'm just going a little bit higher. So we've got her top lip done. I'm going to come down and line the bottom lip. Her bottom lip is nice and full, so I'm not really going to do much correcting on the bottom lip because it already has a nice shape. So we're just going to outline. So now we've finished our lip liner. We're going to come in with our lip brush. Lip brushes are essential if you're trying to create a very solid shape to the lip. So now I'm going over top of the line that I already created and I'm blending it in towards the lip. You don't want to go outside of the lip, then you're going to get smudgy and messy. So we're just blending it in towards the lip and it's just softening that edge so you don't have a hard lip liner line. That's not attractive at all. That was very 1996 and the 90s are back, but not quite that back. Let's hope not at least, right? So just keep blending this right in towards the lip here, come over here and blend this. Some people like to dip their uh, lip pencil into lip gloss to do the liner so that it blends more smoothly, but I feel like when you do that it can tend to get messy and too slippery if you over apply the lip gloss. So now we're going to take a highlight pencil, you could also just take a cream highlighter if you have, and we're going to go outside of the lip. Again, remember I talked about the dimensional part of the lip. So we're going on the very outer edge of the dimensional part of the lip and lightly lining there. Now as I'm doing it, you can see that there's a little bit of a line, which is fine. We're going to also blend that out. So we've applied the highlight to the outside of the lip and anything that's light draws areas forward and makes them look larger. So that's why we've applied that there. Now I'm just going to take my brush and just softly blend that highlight out because we don't want a line of demarcation. It's a dead giveaway. I'm all about hiding our lines of demarcation. So we're just softening out this edge and blending up. And you can already see that it's giving a little bit of a poutier look to her lip. So now we're going to be applying our color. So we're going to dip our brush in, load it up on both sides. Don't get too much though, you don't want to mess. And we're just going to start from the center of her mouth and go outward. You want to make sure that you're getting it inside of the mouth because you don't want to have a start stop line in there. And I'm slightly overlapping the liner. And this color is also a little bit shimmery, which any type of shine or shimmer reflects light, which also will make an area look larger. And again, we're blending the lip liner in as we apply. So we've applied our color, now we're going to go right into our gloss. So I'm dipping my brush back into the gloss. So we start our gloss in the center of the mouth. The gloss will reflect light, and when it's in the center, it will create more of a pouty effect. So we just start it there and blend it out towards the edges so it looks more natural. And same on the top, we're going to apply the gloss right in the center on the top and right onto the lip liner there because that, again, will reflect light and by reflecting light, we'll make it look larger. <laughs> Thank you for joining us at Metro Beauty Academy. I'm Caitlin, this is Cecilia. Check us out on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter.